everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Welcome one, welcome all. So today is our weekly podcast. It's kind of a recap of what went on this past week, what I've been up to, maybe some things that are coming up and different little tidbits here and there, um, and a brief introduction of this channel to those of you that are new or are watching and deciding on whether or not you want to join the channel. Um, here, I do everything from processing fiber, dyeing it, spinning it into yarn, and making things with yarn. Um, so crochet, Tunisian crochet, knit. Um, I also needle tat. Uh, there's the Addy knitting machine. There's some tutorials on that. Um, lots of different things happen here and I'm getting ready to introduce yet something else. Um, excited about that as well. And it's going to be a learning curve for me, but I'm willing to throw it out there so that way you all can watch me work on something I've never done before. What is that? Well, we'll get into that in just a moment. All right, everybody. So this channel is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is tutorials. They could be my own patterns. They could be stitch tutorials. They could be a what is it and how does it work type situation. Um, could be demonstrations on weaving, on the... Uh, a 32-inch Chromsky loom. It could be weaving on a smaller Cricut loom. Um, it could be spinning yarn. It could be all kinds of different things on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live and I spin yarn, generally speaking. Um, I spin fiber into yarn and we chit-chat. Just hang out and chit-chat. Um, this last week, we had a little giveaway in the live, and I want to congratulate, uh, congratulate Karen um, KB Fibers. She won an Amazon gift card, so congratulations. I know you will use that in every which way you can. <laughs> Um, so congratulations to KB Fibers on her win from this past Thursday. Um, also on Sunday, of course, we have a podcast. Now, if there are any types of unboxings or reviews, stuff like that, that's going to come out on either Friday or Saturday. This past week, um, we did have, in fact, it was on Friday, we did have a review. I had a company uh, contact me and ask me if I would collab with them, and I said absolutely. So I received it. I did the unboxing part, and as I was saying earlier, that something new was coming to the channel. It is cross-stitch. I've never done it. So I'm looking forward to starting this adventure with you. And hopefully I don't have too many critics unless it's, you know, productive, um, let's see, constructive criticism. That's what I'm looking for there. Um, I absolutely love all the information that I've received so far as to tips and pointers about the uh, cross stitch. So I received, if you didn't see that video, I received three different um, cross stitch patterns uh, kits and I got the owl, which is, they're small, that's, that's small, and the magical unicorn, which is adorable. This is the one that I'm going to be doing in the tutorial style um, video. And then the big one that is going to be something for me later on when I feel more comfortable is an elephant, uh, scene. So I'm excited about that one, but that one's going to be definitely, um, taking me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> it is not printed fabric. It is going to be, 
working from a separate piece of paper and I'm probably giving myself more anxiety over it than necessary, but I've never done it. So we'll see, but we're going to start small. We're going to start with this one and it is printed fabric and get the feel for how it works and how to do this. So I'm excited about that. And of course the little owl, isn't that adorable? So that is coming up. Um, I, I finished DC's Ducky. Now that I will insert a picture here. For those of you that don't know, that was a typo when I was asked to make that. So um, it's actually a dicky, and I don't have it on me anymore. Um, I actually shipped it out Thursday morning, and DC, Divergent Crafter, has that in her mitts now. Um, the tutorial for it, it is knitted. The tutorial for it is coming out on Monday. Now, I will be starting to work on a crocheted version of it. Um, I have a big response for that. So that's next. I will be working on that. Um, I also worked on this week squares, lots of squares. Um, last week, if you didn't see it, I had received some happy mail and it was of this like six pack of yarn and they were small, like 50 gram balls of yarn and super soft. So I decided I wanted to do a specific stitch for a tutorial. And when I did it, I was like, you know, this would re really, really be beneficial um, for this pack of yarn. So that's what I did. And I've kind of got them separated differently here. But um, so we have yellow and white. And there is actually, that was one. Here is white and yellow. That's two. And white and yellow, three. And yellow and white, four. Now, the same thing will go for green and red, red and green, green and red, and red and green. So I just kind of swapped them so that way I could make that yarn go a little further. And then I have purple and pink, pink and purple, and then two more exactly the same as those. And because that's not going to be really enough to do what I was wanting to do, I started working up. Um, I found that a couple of the yarn uh, balls that I picked up from Dollar Tree a while back, the Just Active, uh, I'm trying to think, just yarn, just active, something like that. Um, they're very, very similar in texture, um, in size weight as the yarn that I received for Happy Mail. So I started working up some squares of solids. Now I had this dark blue and I did the same amount of rows, <laughs> but it's quite a bit smaller than the others. So I'm going to have to adjust the blue in order for it to be the same as the rest of the squares or just completely omit this and use the others that I have because I only had one ball of this and I had like three of the purple and I only had like a half for the orange. But at any rate, I've been playing with all these squares <laughs> this week. Um, also, I recently, my friend Rachel and I did a, and I can talk more about it now because it's actually in the hands of Miss C. Uh, we did a epoxy over um, oak leaves, or well, over fall leaves, and put some pictures in there, and we had stained a frame for it and everything. Um, 
so in doing so, I was like, you know, I really would like to make a couple of things using the resin or epoxy. And I got a little tiny, um, it makes three little like diamonds, uh, mold, silicone mold. And so here is one. And now there is glitter in that one. And I did all three of them the same and I'll hold them up all together. And I put a wire in them for a reason. So there you can see the, the gold glitter in it. It's a little darker than I wanted it to be, but I put some ear wires in there um, or just jewelry wires in there. And this has the little bead at the bottom of the uh, wire so it'll stay in there nicely. I'm gonna turn this into a charm and earrings. That's my plan for these three. My original thought process on doing this is to take my son and my father's ashes and make small little charms with those ashes, with some of those ashes. So make it like a um, solar system looking. I've seen it done in blown glass and it's beautiful. And I think that it will turn out very similar in the epoxy or the rosin. But I want to take my son's ashes and my father's ashes and do something similar uh, with this particular style of mold. But um, we'll see. I, I'm a little hesitant. This turned out great um, so far. I'll see what it looks like when I complete it. It may end up just being, um, that's all I end up doing with it. We'll see. And one last final thing that I actually finished this week, and I am so happy it's done, and now I can move on to something else, um, another one, or just something else. <laughs> but um, my horse Solomon diamond painting is complete. Look at him, he's all shiny. <laughs> But I have finally, finally finished it. Again, I sent a picture. I took a picture of it. I sent it to Tank. And I want to publicly say thank you again to I Love to Crochet Tank. This was such a thoughtful and amazing gift for my two year potiversary. Um, to send one of my pictures of my horse in and have a diamond painting created and me getting to make that diamond painting. I absolutely love it. So I am super tickled with how it came out. Um, I will be putting this into either a frame or um, something of, of that nature and it will get put up in here for sure. I love it. So thank you very much Tank for that. Thank each and every one of you for the time that you give me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, there are some upcoming little things that may change as far as um, the channel, but don't worry, all of my videos will stay the same. And um, there just might be some little additions added. Uh, keep an eye out. There's, there's some things that will pop up here and there, and I hope to have it done by Thursday. We will see what happens by Thursday evening. Um, there will be a slideshow of the viewers' work that has been entered into either the Facebook group or sent to me in a private email to be put into the slideshow at the end of our Sunday podcast. So stick around for that. And I, again, thank you everybody for coming and joining me and hanging out with me each and every video and live. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.